Hola guys and girls and welcome to the PMC Team Builder for week 8. 8? I think it's week 8. Yeah, it's week 8. We are the, the third to last week of the season. Of course we all still have our winning streak rolling and to keep that rolling we have to face off against Silver Beanie and the Crystal Palo Sands. He actually has to complete the complete re reverse record than us, so similar to a uh, not too long ago, we faced an opponent with a not so good record, but of course that doesn't mean we can underestimate anyone. We don't know anyone, like we don't know a few people in this league, but we don't know him, so we have no idea how he plays, and we still have to basically go into this match as, uh, yeah, as serious as we can. So, of course, we are now uh, basically locked for playoffs already. Uh, if we win this game, we are 100% locked. But it's already very likely, like, uh, uh, very unlikely things have to happen for us to not make players at this point. But if you win this, we're guaranteed 100%. There's nothing that can happen to ruin that for us. So that's why we, of course, still want to win this, like usually. And of course, if you have a winning streak going on for so long, then, then you're basically, you, you, you have to keep it. That's just, you don't, you don't destroy that. You don't, don't just destroy a win because of, ah, I don't need that. But no, you keep that going till the end. But uh, either way, for that, of course, we have to be this team. So let's go all that way quick. You got the Jirachi, the Sylveon, Mega Venusaur, Lycanroc, Dusk, High Dragon, Dawnfats, the Raptor, Jellicent, the uh, Ninetales, uh, Galvantula, and Zangus. The Seaboot users are the Lycanroc, Dusk, and the Ninetales. So, he got a core, which is very similar to something faced already. And yes, the High Dragon and the Mega Venusaur, and we have the Temple Kid here. And already my alarm rings are belling because that's the same thing, or my alarm bells are ringing. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing with Jolt Head versus us. He has a very good steel type as well in Rush, but we see it's not the same as Jolt in his Cell Stealer. So, we are already in some trouble because my best check to the uh, what call it, to the Iron Dragon is, of course, my uh, Fini, which is a dead stop for a dragon. But how do I get Suture? Get Suture out into Mega Venusaur, and then Fini doesn't really deal with Mega Venusaur 1v1, barring Mage Medicine and do decent damage. Thankfully, this time I don't have to cure Black as switching, so I can't be kept a card of God by Nature Power. Uh, Mega Venusaur. But still, that's a very scary call. And of course, the Paradigm Steel Core General played Dragon, Jirachi, and Sylveon is very strong and very difficult to break through. And uh, yeah, that's going to be Prozum. And then the biggest threat of his side of the team, offensive wise, is in my opinion, the Staraptor. I just have no good switches to Staraptor. Things which resist uh, flying uh, don't resist. Uh, no, my main player resists with the Rotom Heat, doesn't resist normal in, uh, in uh, the Double Edge, the Raptor can run. And Reckless Boost, the Double Edge does just 2 at the old road. If you are fully physically defensive and he's a boosting item, I get to it here with a double edge. So, yeah, the best way to deal with Raptor is still to have it kill himself. That's like the same way, it's, it's the same problem with Zangos. I don't really have any good switches to Zangos because my I have a flying and uh, normal resist in my uh, Tarantula, but that gets got, got to it here by close combat, even though I'm probably the defense from both the Zangos and the uh, Raptor. But good thing is, Raptor, all the strong moves are uh, uh, recall based, and Zangos slowly kills the Toxic Soul. That's like, range killing is decently well, they slowly kill themselves, they're actually weak to rocks, but I will lose one or two monsters to them, that's just, that's just how it goes with so monsters like this. I just don't have good switches, good, I, I can't, I will have, I have an initial switch on the team, like you will see later, but there's like, I can't, don't have a long standing answer for these mods, which you thankfully don't need since they're not really long standing mods in the battle, just through the nature on how they work. So yeah, that is troublesome. Then defensive wise, the Jellison is annoying, the Drush is annoying, and the Silver is annoying. That's a very not annoying defensive core. Mega Venus, of course, as well. I forgot to mention that. So, yeah, he got defensive powerhouses, maybe in his normal, small, normal ones, and then defensive powerhouse of the Razoo as well. So, uh, yeah, once another trade up are the Nine Tails. He has the Oxid for speaking about Ashley as well. I have thankfully an uh, Razoo Defogger in my Finny, which come in with, comes in with a decent amount of his mods, and actually is pretty fast for Speaking Cat. Basically, I'm very likely to get a Defogger off. If he brings the Avenger, so that's a two-week problem. Of course, it could be troublesome if he brings, like, if he brings Charizard as a Raptor. Everything which isn't glowing is unspent by it and dies or is too killed by Double Ash slash Brave Bird. So yeah, that could be troublesome if he brings that. Then we just have to get rid of Heather as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, that's his team now starting going over mine. First up, we got our first Mega Page on the third and Heat by Pin Power Ground and U-Turn. His flying is this: it's a Drachi and the Lycan Rock. Drachi is the only reliable one, reliable one because. Like Rocky, let's get to it here, even though it's resisted from Hurricane. And worst case scenario, we just have him power ground. If he wants to bring like, a salt desk, like Rock or something like that. I'm more expecting it to be a Spadef Raji, which would be great, because then I don't have to deal with the choice cast. 
Jirachi flinch in it against, which, that, which are always annoying. Thankfully, I wouldn't have to deal with that. It's great. Of course, I'm heat ready for that, and then u turn for momentum. In case he brings in Jirachi, I can u turn on that, bring in Sneasel, and put a suit trap in the knockoff him. Like I can see, I have Sneasel right here. That's why I have u turn right here. And if Lightrock is answer, then I can just use an out of the Fini or Neo Queen deal that, that way. But uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. It's my main killer of the uh, Venusaur, since I don't need to boost up. Hurricane does a butt ton of damage. It, it, does, it has potential to OCO him, depending on how bulky he is. But if he's uh, more to death orientated, then uh, it's a true KO. But uh, yeah, he basically doesn't have any Hurricane switches. Even with 9 times the up, that doesn't matter. Like, reducing the accuracy of Hurricane to 50% with Noga, I'm still hitting all of them. So yeah, Hurricane Spam. That's gonna be nice with a team like his. Next up, we got my win condition, which is Jimmy Neutron Double Dance. Jimmy Neutron with Mew. Uh, Zen Headbutt, Drain Punch, Salt Sense, and Rock Polish. I have four sources of the Rock Polish, uh, uh, four spread wise, uh, now speed for Lycan Rock Dust, and then Max Wish Lycan Rock HP, so not too fancy. But yeah, Double Dance Mew. I always brought, uh, I brought a setup Mew a lot of times, and this time actually it says I'm bringing Double Dance Mew, boost my speed and my attack. If I can boost both, I can just flash speed through his whole team, uh, but I can, the, what I like with this is that I have options on what mode I'm going to go for. Like if his team is if I want to use this Mortal Wall Break, I can just set up his D and then go to town to his team, don't need Rock Polish. If his team is pretty weak, I just need to sweep it, I just need Rock Polish, don't need to worry about Sword Sense. Sword Sense, they still do good damage with their head and Brain Punch. His main resistance, of course, to the uh, to uh, the Psychic, uh, the Headbutt move are the Jirachi and the High Dragon. High Dragon, of course, has to effectively Brain Punch. Sadly, the Jirachi, I only have neutral, but since I expect the Jirachi to mainly be a split death variant, I can still go to go damage with Brain Punch, especially if I get a Sword Sense up, but all the Sword Sense are not doing too much. But uh, yeah, that's basically my Mew, he doesn't like, once I get SD up, he doesn't like switching into that, and once I get a Rock Polish up, I'll speed everything, because if you look at the spread right here, I have enough speed, so after Rock Polish, I'll speed everything up to a Choice Scarf to the Raptor. Choice Scarf like Rock will still have speed, but I'm definitely not expecting that to come, and I still want the bulk, and that's why I still have leftovers, because this is still my best switch into the Venus, so that's why I would still want to have some bulk, don't want to get too nasty on the speed side and stuff like that. That's why I still have leftovers, so I can switch anything some defensive, I set up SD or Rock Polish, and then he's... Uh, scare and you can go to town. So yeah, that's the plan with that. Basically, just maximizing the, uh, the amount of, or minimizing the amount of damage I take from special attacks with this bit of uh, HP spread, and then the speed already explained. The rest max like element because base 100 is not that strong, especially if you don't have uh, boots and leftovers. So yeah, being element definitely helps with the damage output in that regard. But uh, yeah, that is new for you. Next up, we got Walnut, our top of being physically defense with a surf knife, man, taunt, and default player mention. This thing is my uh, default of the team. I have enough speed for everything up to a max speed Sylveon. His team was kind of weird to speed creep for because I want to be faster than no speed Jirachi, which I am, but I want to be a bit faster than that because Jirachi can easily be speed invested like a Mew. Like you see, I already have. It's easy to on these base 100 mods, which are both you just have a little speed for something. And then I want to have some Jellison as well. And uh, yeah, a lot of things I want to be faster than this. So I just said, okay, that's max speed Sylveon. I'm not expecting him to bring out a max speed Timid Sylveon. But it's a nice benchmark to hit, because I still speed no speed Jirachi, even with a little speed I still speed that. I still speed Jellison, I still speed Dunfan, so yeah, a lot of months I can still speed with that. And then I have Surf Nature's just Madness Taunt, I actually don't have Moonblast on this, and you're thinking probably why do we not have Moonblast on this, this is my man, and, man main answer for my dragon, that's just because my dragon can't hurt me at all. It's like, there's no way, best way to move my dragon has for me is Earth Power, and even with no speed death investment, it is Choice Scout, that does like 20%, so after three turns left over, I, I'm back to full health. So yeah, that's why I uh, don't have Moonless. I want to still Surf, because this is my main answer to the Light Rock as well. And Surf can still do KO. I wanted KO, that's why I have the 60 special attack right here, so I can guarantee Oko a Light Rock with Surf. Nage Man is taunt of the SPD of the Jellison, which most likely gonna be rolled up, so would be immune to Surf with Town Nage Man, I can deal with that. And Nage Man is of course nice with the Mega Venusaur as well, which would be uh, resistant to both my Fairy and Water moves, but Nage Man is going to have Waste a bit of a synthesis, which he only has 8 of. So, yeah, that's great as well. That's my Tapofini. Like I said, I decided to be more physically defensive because I don't need special bulk for a dragon. And the physical bulk helps me for stuff like the Dragon Rock and Finishes Raptor and Potentially Zangu, so I don't have to switch out for those. But yeah, next up, we got Nips, our Needle Queen, special defensive. With Earthquake Points, Jeff Super Fang and the Staff Rock. Staff Rock are off the team. Enough speed for a no speed Venusaur, so I can Super Fang that because Earthquake Points, Jeff Staff not doing too much to that thing. Uh, don't get any psychic or flying moves firing aerial ace or like hidden power, so yeah, I have to like super fine focus damage output on that. And I'm split death, so because that's my main special to the Sylveon, because uh, my team doesn't like Sylveon at all, it is offensive. And it's my main answer to the Gunlancer as well, risking good stabbing, being actually immune as well to his electric attacks. 
And I have enough attack so I can Oko an offensive Sylvie on the first jab. And uh, yeah, that's just where the basic investment is from. It's just mainly there for Gamma and Sylvie on. And doing some damage of Jade Forest Jab and Super Fang, wasting more services like I can see already. Nature's Madness, Super Fang. If he doesn't, since he doesn't have leftovers on his Venusaur, he's basically always forced to synthesis up after he gets hit one of those attacks. And if I can get rid of all of them, Venus is not a problem anymore at all. So, uh, yeah, definitely free for you. Next up, we got our Life of Sneasel, Knock of Ice, Crash, Ice Shot. Poison Jab, I actually don't have Pursuit on this, I lied earlier. Sorry for that. Still need Poison Jab for the, uh, for the Sylveon. And uh, yeah, just knock off main stab, Ice Crash, Ice Shot. Ice Shot is great because this is my main way of revenge killing the Trying Scarf Zeratta if he doesn't die to recoil soon enough. Because like I can see on my team, I didn't actually brought a Scarfer, which is faster than his... Oh, I didn't brought a Scarfer at all, so I have nothing to get faster than a Scarf, Trying Scarf Zeratta. So I want to have the Ice Shot priority, so after he gets like a little bit of recoil or a round of rocks, I can oak him with Ice Shot, like a boost it. And yeah, then knock off. Great to like just knock off items in general. Ice Crash does a good amount even to Venusaur if he's most for that orientated. Ice Crash has a chance to shoot KO actually, depending on the spread with rocks up. So, uh, yeah, Sneasel just being fast. Enough speed once again for Lycorrhex. So I can outright prioritize him with my Ice Shot when he goes on to go for Xerox Rock and then Poison Jab just there for the Sylveon, which uh, physically that's Sylveon would actually be a good check to me. Like I said, I don't like Sylveon with, with this team I brought right here. That's why I stood that Nido Green because of that. Like, my, I don't have Hyper switching, so that's why I need Nido Green. So, uh, yeah, that's a Sneasel for you. Just being general offensive, knockoff stuff, Isaac Crash, Ice Shot Priority for the. Uh, what you call it? For the. Uh, the Raptor mainly, of course, nice for ourselves as well. But uh, yeah, that's the Sneasel for you, as uh, threatens always the Drudge as well. Next up, and last but not least, we got Smash Catcher with the Rocky Helmet. Bulky Baron actually, once again, enough speed for a no speed. Uh, which is called Nosby uh, Bag of Venusaur. And we actually are bulky, fancy stat I actually have enough bulk on this, so I'm not too killed by a Choice Bandit, Adamant, Double Ash, Fox, Slash, Bracelet from his Raptor. I was just thinking, okay, let's first make this max with the max defense for it, but then I still get too killed for Choice Bandit Close Combat, so that was not really worth it. And uh, the Road to Heat was my, it's like the obvious thing to think about if you want to check uh, a flying type, but. Double Edge Tricky owes me always, so at least on the seven we should resist to do both his sash, so he can't just stand break, but he can't just stand double edge. He has to be close combat at least once, and then I have three resistance to that on the team in my Mio, in my Finny, and my Neo Queen. So yeah, and then Rocky Helmet to like, just get chip damage on him over time. Pretty, basically fast in the process of killing itself. And uh, yeah, then rest and attack in element nature so I can still do some good damage. And we actually have Strong Joe Stone Edge, not Cat Smash this time, because I want to have Strong Joe boosted Ice Fang, Poison Fang, and Crunch. Crunch mainly there for the Jellicent. Ice Fang is there for the Dawn damage. It's the most likely switch. If Fizzy Defensive Dawn is a great check to extend the Tarantula because of the Disney Hell Smash. But with my investment and uh, Strong Jump versus Ice Fang, I actually have a chance to tweak him, so that is great. Poison Fang always be there for the Sylveon. Stronger than Iron Head because of the Strong Jump boost. And uh, it's actually not stronger, but I have a 50% chance to poison, which is great. And then a Crunch for my main stab. Main move basically is not stab, but main to click because. As an accurate and the strongest I have. And then it's Stone Edge just as stab move. It's my strongest move, but sadly not accurate, so I probably would keep trying most of the time. Stuff is in range. Hits the Jellicent, hits the. Let's look at the team again. Doesn't hit anything else. Jirashi as well. Jirashi is the big one, would resist uh, my. All my other moves basically. Resist to that, resist uh, immune to that, resist that, so I have crunched S here as well. So yeah, that's my team for this match. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. The match, of course, going up tomorrow. Like in general, I'm not lying this time. I know all of this is late, but the match is actually going up tomorrow, so I'm not lying. So, uh, yeah, I had on a nice camping trip on the weekend, so that's why I didn't go up there. But, uh, yeah, that's all from me. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think about the team. Who will be the MVP? How will the game go? Let me know all of that in the comments. Of course, my phone did upload already, so if you really want to spoil yourself, you can do that. This link, of course, in the description. Silver Beanie, Crystal Palace hands, you already know that. But, uh, yeah, that's all from me. I will see you next time. Ciao.